Testing one, two, three. Testing. Testing one, two, check, one. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. Testing one, two, three. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Henry's Kitchen. It's a beautiful uh, Wednesday morning or af afternoon, depending on where you are, or evening. And uh, today, we're going to be making Henry's Bachelor Baked Cheese and Spaghetti Casserole Extravaganza. This is a combination uh, between um, some stuff that I found on the internet and my own personal spin on it. I'm just going to show you uh, what it's going to look like when we're done, which is going to be pretty delicious. It's going to make for a nice little lunch, lunchtime snack. Let's talk a little bit about uh, spaghetti in general, or pasta in general. Um, if you're walking around uh, with low energy, or if you're feeling tired, um, muscles ache, uh, di diarrhea, constipation, um, irritable, uh, mood, mood swings, um, or uh, sweats, night tremors, um, chances are you're eating bad pasta and uh, or you're or you're not preparing your pasta in the correct way so today I'm going to show you I mean it's it's a pasta casserole but also it's uh, I'm going to show you a, a little bit about the technique of making pasta the first this is according to wikipedia.com the first written record of pasta comes from the Talmud in the 5th century AD and refers to dried pasta that could be cooked through boiling, which was conveniently portable. Some historians think that Arabs introduced pasta to Europe during a conquest of Sicily. In the West, it may have first been worked into long, thin forms in Sicily around the 12th century as the Tabula Rogeriana of Muhammad al-Adrisi attested, reporting some traditions about the Sicilian kingdom. There's the, the history of pasta is really not very long. This is, that was just almost, that was more than half of it right there. The popularity of spaghetti spread, and there's an H in there, so you want to get the spaghetti. A lot of people miss that. Spread throughout Italy after the establishment of spaghetti factories in the 19th century, enabling the mass production of spaghetti for the Italian market in the United States around the end of the 19th century, spaghetti was offered in restaurants as spaghetti italienne, which likely consisted of noodles cooked past okay. al dente and a mild tomato sauce flavored with easily found spices and vegetables such as cloves, bay leaves, and garlic. And it was not until decades later that it came commonly prepared with oregano and basil. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've got some water here that we're going to go ahead and uh, okay. start boiling. So, this thing's always a pain in the ass. I'm going to put it on high and push start. Okay. So that's the first thing we want to do is we want to start boiling our water. So I'm 
kind of bug or something in there. I don't know. But uh, it doesn't matter. You're not drinking the water. You're just going to be uh, boi boiling it and putting your pasta in there. Uh, meantime, maybe this would be a good time to take a look at some of your questions, if anybody has. Uh, Jath says, be careful with boiling water, it's very dangerous, and that is the truth. You want to be careful with just about everything in the kitchen. Um, Stop uh, Dropping Bear says, boiling the water will sterilize the bug. That's good. Yeah, that's true. And, and the bug might not even be something that, that's toxic anyway. Um, the hooker in my trunk says, I think that's one of my hairs. Okay. Um, oh, d uh, Demo2 says, can I use a Chini de Pipi? Um, a Chini de Pipi is a type of pasta and I, uh, there was, you have to be careful when you go to the store because it all, basically everything looks like spaghetti, but the variety of different types of pasta goes on forever and I wound up getting these little balls of pasta called a Chini de Pipi which is pasta, but it's it's like little balls. And you could use that, I suppose, but who wants that? Um, Blurry Little Quest says, how often do I need to stir the water? Uh, not much, but I'll show you a little bit of the technique there. Uh, Hencom67 okay. says, how do I know the water is boiling? Well, you're gonna see bubbles on the top of it. Um, no I no Eyed Yeti says, Happy National French Day. I didn't know that it was National French Day. Oh, French Friday. It's, it's French Fried. As in, it's uh, a day of French fries, which I didn't know that happened. Maybe that's in Europe. Um, but the last time I ate French fries was in the 1920s during the Great Depression. So this is an older person. No Eyed Yeti. Thanks for joining us. And um, I also want to say some thank yous to some of the folks out there, like uh, What the Duck has subscribed, the hooker in my trunk who asked a question as well, Dignity Level, um, Beelzebee has gifted a sub to Sonicet, and uh, Michaela Sims is doing all kinds of uh, gifting and stuff, and Codex of Die Fed has used 16 bits and uh, a seizure salad a lot of great names here Katsushiro uh, View Beautiful Jen um, Beautiful Jen so thank you thanks everybody for the support and the subscriptions and everything and we've got a, a very fun recipe here and it shouldn't have much difficulty there are quite a few steps but uh, Let's start with looking at some of our ingredients here. That water you can see is already boiling, which is nice. Already getting close anyway. Oh, and I've got a new uh, thing here. It's kind of based on roast beef. Roast beef is uh, my cat who looks very similar to this. As a matter of fact, I have a cam set up. Uh, it's like a hot tray kind of thing that you can put hot things on which is nice So I'll probably be using it to transfer this for example, but we'll have that handy uh, ingredients is that you want you want the Spaghetti and I've got some cilantro here, and I've got a little bit of uh, Kale you can use spinach as well uh, But that's going to be your health uh, the green stuff and then you've got some fungus here which is uh, in the form of mushrooms okay. peppers uh, thanks Daniel V 543 for subscribing bell peppers uh, I would recommend the green ones they didn't have the green ones left so all I got was the orange one uh, which is weird but I don't know I've never tried that before but we'll see hopefully it's not spicy or something and I've got some old cheese that I had in my refrigerator. I think it's left over from when we did twice-baked potato 
French onion potato casserole. But that's basically it, you guys. Um, ow, that water is boiling. So uh, what we're going to start by we're going to start by uh, putting our pasta into our boiling water. Now this is very important. How many times have you gone to a friend's house and they said, oh, hey, do you want something to eat? I'll cook you some pasta. And the first thing they do is they break this pasta in half and put it in their little pot. And you're like, I'm not eating broken pasta, asshole, you know? Um, well, don't worry. Uh, that, there's another way to do it. You don't have to break it in half. In fact, it's preferable not to. And I'm going to show you. This is, as you can see, the pot is much smaller. I'm gonna put it in halfway. You can see that. And then what's gonna happen is that this part is gonna get floppy, and then I'll be able to fit this part in, and then at the end, I'm gonna take that part out and drape it over and then let this part cook as much. So the only thing that you want to do is make sure that you're uh, setting your time. So we're going to set two timers, one for the bottom part. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay. Now this is already ready to go. We're going to get some kind of utensil. Alexa, set a second timer for 10 minutes. Second timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Okay. okay. Yes, call it spaghetti t 2. What do you want to call it? Spaghetti 2. Okay, I'll call it a spaghetti to timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, so the first timer, we're going to take this part out drape it over and then we're going to let the other one sit there until such time as the second timer goes off and uh, so we've got about 10 minutes here I don't know um, I I was uh, so on, on my discord uh, the Henry's Kitchen discord um, the great uh, moderators have set up a, a nice little area where you can request music um, I've always said that uh, you got to have a hobby uh, for when you're waiting for stuff like boiling water or whatever. Oh, and by the way, if this ever happens, you can blow on it. Uh, I might have put a little bit too much water, so I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to take a little bit of this water out. Okay. Thank you, whoever that was that subscribed. I'll give a shout out later. I used way too much water and it was in danger of overflowing, but I'm going to put this right back on there. Uh, let's see here. There we go. And uh, don't be afraid to stir your pasta. Um, Stirring uh, pasta can be a very relaxing uh, situation. Uh, but what I was saying is that I'm getting requests for songs and uh, some really good ones, and I'm going to try to get to a few of them here. This is probably as good a time as any. So, Alexa, how much time left? You have two timers. A 10-minute timer with about 7 minutes and 20 seconds left in spaghetti two. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time here. Uh, a couple of the song requests that I got. Um, a lot of up-tempo stuff. This is a... This is a song called uh, Dust in the Wind. For me. Same old song, 
Nothing lasts forever but the earth and the sky. Thanks, thanks, crime beer. It slips away. Okay. Literally the owner of Twitch. And all your money won't another minute buy. Dust in the wind All we are is dust in the wind Same old song There's no point in doing anything in life Cause it slips away one day return to the dust you came from Dust in the wind All you okay. are is dust in the wind Okay, so that's a nice little pick-me-up for our Wednesday morning. Um, somebody uh, requested a very obscure song from Jose Suicidio. I'll see if I can get my way through it. Uh, it's called Unlucky and it's another up-tempo number. Ooh, baby, baby, don't you feel it coming? It's coming down the tracks. Ooh, baby, baby, there's a big train coming. And it's coming really fast. Big train coming. Just my luck Big train coming And the tracks my foot is stuck Big train coming Oh why does this kind of thing Always happen to me I guess I'm just unlucky Ooh baby baby Don't you see him coming It's a clown With a cattle prod Baby, there's a real weird thing coming. I think it's a clown. He's got a fucking cattle prod. Clown with a cattle prod coming, and he's coming really fast. Clown with a cattle prod coming, now he's sticking it in my ass. Clown with a cattle prod coming, and I don't know why. Clown with a cattle prod coming, and I think we're gonna die. Cow prod coming, oh why does this kind of thing always happen to me? I guess I'm just unlucky. One of the more uh, obscure songs there from the Jose Suicidio collection. Um, had another request for a song that's, uh, I'm going to have to read the music for this one because I don't know it very well, but it's a song by... Uh, band called Tears for Fears. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early for their daily races, going nowhere, going nowhere. Their tears are filling up their glasses, no expression, no expression Hide my head, I want to drown my sorrow No tomorrow, no tomorrow This is a real pick-me-up as well And I kind of find it funny I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying Are the best I ever had I find it hard to tell you when people run in circles, it's a very, very bad world. Bad world. Okay, so um, that's that. I think we're getting close. Alexa, how much time left on our timer? Alexa, how much time left on the timer? You have two timers. 
A 10 minute timer with about 1 minute and 30 seconds left in spaghetti 2 with about 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. Oh boy. Okay, I better get a bowl ready. Or a plate. Um, we're also going to need our strainer. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of improvising on this part of it. Uh, fortunately, I have another pot here. got our strainer. Um, not quite sure how this is going to work. I think we can stop this. Okay, so I've got a separate pot here. I'm going to pour it into Our strainer so th this one's got holes in various places this is like a some kind of European Alexa stop I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to unplug it. Okay, so this thing is a piece of shit. I'm just going to basically scoop our pasta up onto a plate. Fortunately, I cleaned my countertop before this. Alexa, stop. I'm gonna dump this water out. Um, yeah, this thing's covered with water, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna take some Take a towel and uh, just cover this. This thing's hot. But uh, yeah, okay, so a little bit of a crisis there, but it was averted. A lot of troubleshooting happens in the kitchen, and a lot of it is in real time with very high stakes. You've got flames and sharp objects, and it sometimes can be terrifying. So, but we, uh, I think we averted any kind of a crisis there. Um, the next thing I'm going to need to do is start, let's take a look at our directions here. Um, we're going to get a saucepan. So we're going to go back to this thing. Uh, I'm hoping that this thing's still functional. I think it might have been complaining of water damage or something. But... Do here. This is going to be our saucepan. Uh, we also want a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to explain something to you. Uh, a lot of times when you're getting recipes uh, from cookbooks and the internet and such, um, I've found this very annoying back when I was an amateur, but uh, I uh, I noticed that a lot of times they assume you have certain ingredients that aren't listed in the ingredients. Like they assume you have salt and pepper. Not everybody has salt and pepper lying around. And uh, I guess they assumed I had olive oil, which I did, but um, it wasn't listed in the ingredients. But we're going to need to put a little bit of olive oil into our saucepan here. Um, I'm going to plug this thing back in. And hopefully it will work. Uh, 
Yeah, no, I don't know. This is unfortunate. Clear. This thing's not really uh, doing working properly. Uh, boy, I feel awful. I, I uh, here I am sitting here doing songs and stuff, and I guess I was ruining my hot plate. I'm gonna take one more attempt at. Uh, it could be that there's water underneath, maybe, and that could be what's causing the problem. I bought this hot plate at the Goodwill, and I think it's several years old, so, and it was only about $10, so I'm not really too worried. Um, but I would like to get through our dish today. Okay. Let's plug this back in. It sounds like a bomb or something. Okay, well, I, I don't think this thing really wants to cooperate with us today. Oh, there it is. Okay. Phew. All right, so let's look ahead a little bit here. Um, what we're going to be basically doing is that we're going to be heating some olive oil into a saucepan until it starts to smoke. I hope it doesn't start to smoke. Um, in a heavy metal strainer over a heavy metal bowl put bag heady noodles uh, okay so um, let's start by putting a little bit of our olive oil it's asking for two tablespoons I happen to know that a cap is about a tablespoon that's just sort of a little inside knowledge there. So we're going to do this. So I'm going to do two of these. And then uh, I'm going to let that sit a little bit and I'm going to start to... Uh, ow. It's very hot. Um, I'm going to grab a cutting board. And I'm going to just prep our uh, our veggies just a little bit here, uh, starting with our pepper. Um, you can never really seem to find a knife when I need one. This is a sticker. We don't need that. Uh, I want to check in with you guys and see if there's any uh, questions. I noticed that you have uh, the title Bachelors. Can this casserole be eaten by married couples? What about individuals in nursing homes? This is uh, Zane Anxiety. Zane Anxiety. Uh, yeah, you don't have to be a bachelor. I think that's just saying that bachelors are typically the ones that are going to be using this particular dish. So. I'm in a little bit of hurry here because I've got our olive oil going, so I'll be kind of rushing through the cutting process here. But basically you just want to cut your bell pepper up into just a little bit more than but bite-sized, not butt-sized, bite-sized uh, um, pieces. So I would probably do them in quarters. That's good. Let's grab a little bit of onion. Just gonna take a little sliver. Remember, I'm just making this for myself, so I don't need to go all crazy with it. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have given me a little bit of flack online for not peeling the onion ahead of time, so I hope that this 
made you happy. Um, the reason I don't peel it is because when you're cutting it, the peel comes off anyway, and it it's difficult to peel. It's not like a uh, it's not like your typical um, apple or something like that where you can peel it really easy. Okay, so we've got these guys. I'm gonna put these into our uh, saucepan or whatever it is. Boy, I wish I could make it uh, lower, but it's not letting me do that. Ow, it's very hot. Okay, so we're gonna put our uh, mushrooms in there as well. Got a couple here. Again, we're going to do these in quarters. Mushrooms are very good for you. Um, it's said that in places where people don't eat mushrooms, uh, they have all kinds of uh, health issues. So, there we go. Okay, and the next step here, okay. we're going to put uh, boy, it's kind of complicated. Okay, we want, we want some sausage. I don't have any sausage, but I have this thing, which is a beef stick, which looks pretty much like a sausage. And uh, you want to they, they seal it up real good which I guess is a good thing but okay it's not coming off that way but I do have a pair of scissors somewhere Gonna go ahead and cut it old school. And slice it. Uh, I'm definitely under the gun because I have a hot plate that it won't allow me to go to a lower heat setting. And I can tell that it's really, really getting up there. Although right now it looks like it just changed automatically. Let's put these in there. Uh, next up, we will be putting our uh, pasta in there as well. We're going to stir it up. get a visual on this. So if you're just joining us, we're making Henry's Bachelor Spaghetti Cheese Casserole. We haven't put the cheese in, but we put some veggies. Even bachelors need to stay uh, nutritious. So we've got some veggies and we've got a meat stick in there that because we didn't have any sausage, but that's basically the same thing. I think sausage is generally encased in uh, intestines of uh, whatever animal that the meat came from. And I, I would imagine beef stick is a similar situation, but it usually says on the packaging. Uh, so this seems to be going okay. And then the last step is we're gonna start uh, putting our cheese in there. So I've got some cheese that I have in the fridge. Uh, so 
I have a cheese shredder somewhere. You just want to shred your cheese over it. And you're going to let the cheese melt into uh, your concoction. And don't let me forget about the spinach, which we're going to be adding in there in just a little bit. I hope you guys have some questions, because we're going to have to kill a little bit of time here in a sec. This thing's going a little crazy. I'm not sure why. Oh, I've got some cilantro. We're going to put that in there. And also our spinach, or actually this is called kale. And it's a very similar situation. Uh, that's going to be our veggie. Now let's just start stirring and stirring and stirring the heck out of it. Okay. Make sure that that cheese mixes around. Viewmongus just subscribed. This is going to be delicious. I don't understand why I'm getting this. Uh... Does anybody out there know anything about how these hot plates work? Because it's really going a little haywire. It's trying to tell me something, I believe. But I don't speak hot plate or whatever. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are familiar with spaghetti uh, in the context of having some kind of sauce. But we're actually not going to need that in this case. Because we've got so many other things going on. Uh, I'm going to add more cheese because it seems like we've lost some of it in the cooking process. So yeah, if anybody has any uh, experience with these hot plates, please let me know what it means when it beeps in random succession over and over again, because it's a very concerning sound. I'm not necessarily what you would call a technophobe, but this is just kind of frightening. Okay. And again, we're going to stir that in there. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of mac and cheese. This is probably a similar situation to that. Boy, would I love to know what in the hell that means. Some ingredients, like, it, it, if, you, if you're going to throw mushrooms, pasta, and a beef stick and cheese into a pot and cook it, it's going to come out good. There's not going to be any uh, doubt about that. So I think we picked a good one in this case. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. And we're going to get into uh, maybe answering some of your questions and seeing if you have any music. Unplugging technology makes it shut up. That's from Morning Sheep. Yeah, and I tried that, but the problem is I needed to use it again after. Um, can I use scissors to slice the, the meat stick? That's Zodbane. I suppose I could have. Uh, Silly Sergey says, Hey, Henry, I got the coded messages you sent me through the stream in the last couple weeks, and we'll be acting on them soon. I wasn't really sending any coded messages, Sergey. I'm not sure what 
what you were hearing there, but it might have been something that you were hearing that the rest of the world wasn't wasn't participating in. Uh, Neo Max is zoom de weeb. The water inside is probably making connections in the electronics and essentially switching the buttons on and off. Okay, so that sounds like somebody who knows about electronics, which is what I was looking for. That's probably the best explanation. Uh, I think it was because I was using that weird strainer thing and a, a bunch of the water fell out onto it. So we'll see if that works for subsequent um, cooking uh, lessons. And if it does not, then we're going to have to get ourselves a new hot plate. Um, Horse Breeder 420 says, what's the difference between antlers, antlers and horns? You know, I, I'm not sure I know the difference there. And it's not, it, that's definitely not an area of my expertise. Although I have uh, eaten antelope before, but it turned out to be by accident. Um, the hooker in my trunk says there's no room to roll over. That must have been a reference to some some other thing. Uh, Ghost Smuggler says horns make music. Okay, yeah. I didn't know it was that kind of horn that they were talking about. Um, so, Omega Fat Crab says if we don't have water, what would be the best substitute? I suppose you could use some kind of juice. Let me do a quick check in here. Seems to be going pretty well. Um, stirring that up a little bit. I sure do wish I had some kind of, some level of control over what the... <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, no, I think they were absolutely right, whoever said that thing about the... Um, Yeah, I, I think we've lost it. I think we're going to be eating some uncooked stuff here, which is probably fine. In fact, it might be better. Hold on, I'm going to try that trick where you unplug it again. And then I guess you wait 10 seconds. Okay, that seems to be back in the working condition. Uh, maybe we've got time for one more song here, and then we're going to uh, take a bite out of our concoction. Another request uh, from the Discord was for this song uh, that I tried to do last week and it didn't go very well, but I'm going to try it again. It's called, uh, it's another one from the, Su the Jose Suicidio collection. It's called, uh, There's Something Wrong With Me. There's some, wait, there's something broken inside of me. Something no one else can see Something hurts and it's way down deep I think there's something wrong with me Okay, I try to reach out to my family They say they don't have time for me Everything seems bleak There's something wrong with me Try to watch TV It only frightens me Everyone's yelling and screaming and fighting in the street I put some pizza in the microwave Forgot about it for several days When I was done I just threw it away That means there's something wrong with me all the kids in the neighborhood tell me I don't look so good. How I would change it all if I could, but I just can't seem to. Every day used to be so. 
such possibility Now every road that I take leads to sadness and despair There's something broken inside of me Something no one else can see Something hurts and it's way down deep I think there's something wrong with me Okay, and that song ended just about the right time because I think our little concoction here is pretty much done. And you know what? I'm not going to lie, guys. This looks absolutely delish. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we have. And I didn't even really use all the cheese. Let's scoop a little bit of this Bachelor cheese and pasta and veggie concoction onto our plate. And see what we have to work with here. Boy, that spinach really shriveled up, but I think that's what it's supposed to do. Um, I'm going to get one more mushroom on there. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I would say as far as dishes uh, turning out uh, pretty much the way that we envisioned them, I mean, I'm going to go back to our original pick here. I think we're pretty darn close. Um, so there you have it uh, I'm gonna let this cool down for a second and I'm gonna put it on my new uh, roast beef uh, hot plate Let's see if I can adjust the camera here a little bit so you can see that better the roast beef hot plate. There we go. It'll let this cool down a little bit and I want to take a moment um, to say some very important thank yous to the people uh, who have offered so much help and uh, without whom this entire uh, live Henry's Kitchen thing just simply could not have happened. It was very overwhelming in the beginning and uh, I had some wonderful people reach out. So uh, in no particular order, I want to thank our moderators, Dingo Bop, Fawcan, Dom Beef, Hottest Bear, Do Dingle, Da Goggy, Dr. Flangies, Flangies, and, uh, and some other uh, special uh, Acknowledgements, Bakus, Daisy Blossom, Melon95, and Pilskman. Um, I also want to thank this trio of friends uh, that I met uh, on here. is uh, Sir Doom, The LGX, and Bumble Vision. I want to thank my old friend Bill Larkin Music. Uh, that's his channel, and he's... Uh, when it comes to just improvising songs by request, uh, he's the master, and it's amazing. Bill Larkin Music, and he helped me out a lot in terms of questions and stuff. And uh, okay. I always have to thank Nim. Thanks, M. Divi. I have to thank Nim because uh, Nim um, started showing my videos and then had me on his stream, and that, that's where my... Uh-oh. I'm going to unplug this. And that's where my uh, the whole thing got started. Okay. And also a couple people that I've never met. Thanks, MX Donut one uh, Never met Forson, but he's sent a lot of people over here, and Moon Moon as well. And uh, I also want to thank all the people, Shane Yes, and a couple other people who have been making clips uh, from Henry's Kitchen and putting them on reddit and social media and sharing them because it's uh it's really important that uh you know obviously cooking is not something that we enjoy doing or that's fun or even 
helpful in any way, but it's something that we have to do. We just have to do it. And uh, so the more people that we can um, educate, the more fulfilled I'll feel as a culinary educator and also as, as a chef myself. So I don't want to ramble too much. Why don't we go ahead and uh, take a take a look at what we're what we're up against here. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more beef jerky or uh, beef stick, whatever it is. Let's get you a nice shot of that. The the beef jerky is already a, an existing okay. product anyway, so you can't really go wrong. That's Fant Q, thanks. And again, if we, uh, not bad. We're definitely in the ballpark, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a bite of this goodness and see if I can find a fork here. I'm, I'm having a really tough time finding utensils. This is mostly beef steak with a little bit of cheese and pasta. Okay. Old Granny Shakes, thanks for subscribing. Very good. Okay. Obelisk, wuss, WS. Okay, this is gonna be the real test. I'm gonna try to get some veggies in there with some okay. of the pasta. Sony's tuba just subscribed. Not enough cheese, I don't think. But other than that, um, this is great, guys. This is a dish that you guys can make um, if you're just sitting at home. And uh, it's a great snack. If okay. You, as you can see, we didn't have sausage, so we used a beef stick. And that worked out just great. Um, we had a little problem uh, with the uh, some of the equipment today, but that's, you know. We're, I'm probably going to go ahead and get another... Uh, get another one of these uh, hot plates again they're really cheap so they uh, they fit the, the budget an anonymous viewer there thank you very much um, let's see if there's uh, somebody asked if I do catering morning sheep um, do I do catering I had a neighbor of mine uh, that I was talking to in front uh, of our uh, complex uh, who asked what I do and I told him that I was a chef and he asked if I could cater for his um, event that they were having and uh, I said sure and then he, he asked how much money it was and I said well you're my neighbor I'm not gonna charge anything so I did it completely for free and uh, I made uh, I think I made my chutney cheese weenie bites and uh, they didn't like them, and they told me afterward that, uh, that it sucked. And um, I said, well, what do you expect for free, you know? If you want something good, if you want quality, you have to pay somebody. Um, I'm glad. Uh, thanks. Beelzebee says, great job, Henry. Thank you very much for those words of encouragement. Um, see what else we got here uh, I'm a little bit behind here um, hero Slavia says hey Henri it sounds like they're spelling it the French way the spag heady came out nice but the deer outside of my house keeps calling my oh wow this is deep uh, the deer outside of their house keeps calling the name of their deceased mother do I think that they, that he just wants the spaghetti that I just cooked? Yeah, yeah I, there's a couple things going on here. Number one, uh, any kind of wildlife is going to be coming around when you start cooking, especially if you're grilling onions, and uh, that's a good sign. In terms of whether you're hearing uh, the name of your deceased uh, mother, um, I'm going to say that that might be something you want to check into um, anyway so 
th there's some wonderful comments here, and, th and thank you very much. Um, let's see, I'm just tr trying to see if there's a, uh, one last question that we can uh, end on here. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, C. Salinzer says, Thank you, Henry. My grandpa has been in a coma for the last three years. Very sorry to hear that, C. Salinders. And when I put your song on, he woke up to throw the phone out and beat me. I don't know if, he, if you mean he beat me, he beat you with the phone, but uh, either way, it's good that he woke up. That's great to hear. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm, I couldn't be happier about what we made today. Um, just one last time. This is the, I'm going to go ahead and call it the Henry's. Uh, bachelor baked cheese and spaghetti uh, and sausage and veggie casserole extravaganza. I think it came out delicious and it came out probably the most looking the most like what we set out to do at the beginning and you don't always want to aspire to what it looks like in the recipe but uh, this was pretty damn good and uh, I am feeling good uh, I'm done with COVID which is nice I even took the test and it said I'm negative now so uh, let's hope that doesn't happen again and uh, there's a lot of things that we have to be thankful for uh, there's a lot of things to be extremely depressed about too but uh, but you know maybe just today let's let's go ahead and eat the meal and, and relish in the fact that it came out pretty good I'm gonna get a new piece of equipment but um, Without uh, taking too much more of your time, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody. And uh, I also want to make an announcement. Sunday, I will not uh, be able to stream on noon okay. at noon. So I'm going to look into how I can take a best of Henry's Kitchen uh, videos and uh, air those. Because I, I do want to feel like I'm a part of the community on Sunday if possible so uh, anyway more about that and uh, thanks everybody and I hope everybody has a great rest of your week